NASA is returning to the moon's surface for the first time in 51 years, and it's taking a piece of Maryland with it. WMER 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington introduces us to the Baltimore County Company that's helping make NASA's mission a success. The countdown is on. 45 days until... We're going to the moon. This is like... The next time Dr. Ronald Rosemeyer watches the United States land a piece of equipment on the moon, it'll include something his company designed. Growing up in the 50s, when we ended up going uh, landing on the moon in 1969, that was such an experience, right? Everybody's, everybody was watching it on TV, and then all of a sudden it was happening so much that people just got bored. And then we just stopped. Dr. Rosemeyer is the founder and CEO of Brimrose, a manufacturing company in Sparks Glencoe. The company made this. It's a spectrometer, which measures specific wavelengths of light to identify different materials. It was selected by NASA to help in its search for water on the moon. Because if you're going to send somebody to the moon to live, if you don't have water, it ain't going to happen. And also um, having water and other minerals, what allows us to uh, for example, be able to launch rockets from the moon. We would not need to bring all the materials from Earth. This tiny part of the spectrometer is what makes Brimrose's technology stand out. While the component is making its first lunar appearance, it's not new. Dr. Yolanta Suze actually designed it about 25 years ago. Usually in the scientific community, first you start working on something and by the time the community accepts that, it takes a time, but that's kind of normal. Dr. Feng Chin designed the larger system around that small piece of crystal. He had to adjust it to fit NASA's technology, and that was all done during the pandemic. We never closed. Now, on Christmas Eve, the team will watch as its technology is blasted into space, launching off from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Well, we're going to have a kind of party at home. Yeah. And we were thinking going to Florida, but we don't know yet. We don't want to run into Santa Claus's sleigh because all these kids won't be able to get their presents. <laughs> They'll be upset, so we have to be careful. Uh -huh. Safe to say the Christmas list for the team here at Brimrose won't be long this year. This was the best gift many of them could have asked for. In Baltimore County, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.